Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is Zodiac reading for April 2023 for Gemini. Let's get started. This right here is the Everyday Witch. Just want to get five cards to start out here. These have all been pre-shuffled, okay? And don't forget, the two highest Zodiac readings uh, for this month will receive the mid-month bid fat bonus reading. Okay, there's one. There's two. <clears throat> Whoa, there's three. There's four. And there's five. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the seven of swords. All right. There's some deception going on or not, right? didn't fly out of the deck so it's a 50 50. we don't know for sure we might know for sure after the reading but for right now it's 50 50. either somebody got away with something or they didn't right okay first card out was the Knight of Cups. So somebody wants to bring in a message to you or you want to bring in a message to them. Some, some kind of emotional message. Now there's hearts all over the place on that card. So it could be a love message, but it could also be a love message in regards to something that you love or love to do, or maybe a message comes in your love, your, your, your dream job, you know, or something like that. Okay. Maybe you got accepted to the school that you really love. You know, you loved that school since you were young and you want to go there so bad. Maybe you got that message in, right? Something like that, okay? So we have the Nine of Swords here. So maybe you're waiting on this message, hoping a message is going to come in, or maybe you want to give a message, but you're kind of unsure about it. You know, you, you, you're not feeling good. You're feeling uneasy and it's causing you sleepless nights, right? Now, in the end, if this carries on like this, this is basically devil energy, you know, staying in your head, contemplating, over contemplating, going back and forth. That's devil energy, you know, being indecisive, can't figure it out. Well, somebody here needs to figure it out. You have to put in the work to figure things like this out, right? Why do you have a problem communicating something to someone and it's making problems in your life? You can't sleep. It's affecting your health. It's affecting someone's health, okay? You may have some back aches, back pains, something like that. We have the Seven of Pentacles here. Now, this is what somebody's worried about, right? Well, this could be, this is advice or obstacle, right? Somebody here, if this was an obstacle, I don't think it's an obstacle. I don't, honestly. I think this is advice for you. The advice for you is, you know, Stay single, be single and abundant, take care of yourself, right? Because obviously there's issues right here, right? That's what the Nine of Pentacles person does. They're abundant, they can take care of themselves, they have self-love, blah, 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 blah. You know, they're self-sufficient. This is advice for somebody to, to be that way, right? Don't stay in this mental uh, stuckness or however you want to call it, this mental trap that you're trapping yourself in because it's devil energy. Now you could be, tra okay, this is for not everybody, but someone out there is on dope. All right. And the reason that you can't have a clear mind is because you have toxins in your body. That's the devil. So there could be addictions here, codependencies, overthinking, indecisiveness. Somebody needs to figure that shit out. And then we have the Eight of Cups here, somebody walking away. And that could be somebody walking away from this energy, not wanting to be that way anymore, not wanting to deal with the devil. Somebody's going to realize, man, this is really fucking me up. You know what I'm saying? So that's good. All right. That's good that someone realizes this now. All right. So let's go ahead and grab these as a Trump deck. No relation to any person. This is an antique deck. Okay. Okay. Tell me about that Knight of Cups there. All right, we have the King of Swords. So this is the truth, right? Somebody wants to truthfully speak to somebody about some sort of emotions they have. 
all right but like i said <laughs> it's one thing that they want to and it's another thing that they do it right somebody's going back and forth in their head should i do it should i not do it you know that's that's not being that's not good <laughs> right okay we got two cards out for the nine of swords let's see what that is look at that eight of cups new beginning new starts or not right or not i feel like at this point it's or not because somebody has not done it they're tripping out too much that's what's going on we have the uh knight of swords okay so possibly what i'm saying here is true there's a message of truth in regards to this and that is that you somebody here is not allowing themselves to heal from something so they're tripping out you know it's like they're they want to jump ahead right they want what they want but they can't figure out why they don't why they can't get it you got to figure out why you can't get it and it's because and if there's fears or anxiety you got to find out what those fears and anxieties are okay because you know somebody might also be worried because who they're dealing with is their soulmate right we got the four of wands 11 11 card which represents you know meeting of a soulmate uh this is destined whatever right now if it's in regards to a job all right this could be your mission your calling this is your thing you know what i mean all right <clears throat> Tell us about this devil right here because, you know, this devil, look at, look at the devil. Look how he's trying to coax the kids, right? So somebody, now I'm also getting that somebody here, whoever wants to bring in this message of love, they might think that they need to manipulate the person. This is, not, if the person, if you need to manipulate a person, you're destined for failure. If you need to manipulate a person to like you or love you or be with you, that's going to fail, I'm just going to be honest with you right now, okay? Um, yeah, somebody's going to make an offer, but I'm not... See, he's offering these things, but look at those kids. Now, the boy looks like he's all for it, but the little girl's like, oh, man, I don't know. Look at her face. So somebody here might be trying to manipulate their way into somebody's uh, life, trying to offer them something, but... That all depends on, you know, your actions. And if you are being toxic, like this devil here, what's at the bottom? Let me see. Yeah, this could be somebody trying to manipulate somebody because they believe that's their soulmate. But it may actually not be because this is the bottom of the deck and it can be 50-50. So there could be somebody from someone's past coming back, trying to manipulate someone who they think might be their soulmate, but it's not. It's a karmic, okay? Uh, somebody who might have gotten away with something. Somebody who might have gotten away with something, but they also, they might not have because somebody might see the truth here. You know what I'm saying? So it could be upright or reverse. Seven of Pentacles. Let's find out a little bit more about that. Is this somebody that this person is dealing with? Or is this the energy that this person needs to be in to get through this devil energy? I, I think what I mentioned before is, is advise that this person focus on themselves, self-love and all that stuff. Try not to focus and jump ahead to this. Because you know what? You cannot love another person if you don't love yourself. So, and, and you know, that's something that everybody knows. Don't you know that? We all know that, right? This is a common thing. All right. Yeah. Somebody else here also knows if they are dealing with a single person who's abundant, can take care of themselves. This person will not deal with third party situations. Right. This person will not celebrate that activity. Right. This person may not be celebrated uh, herself or himself right now at all. Anyways. OK. The advice here, don't deal with third party, uh, um, third party uh, situations. Right work on yourself because once you fix yourself that's when all kinds of shit starts happening good stuff you know what i mean what's at the bottom yeah look it could be 50 50 if you fix yourself you could probably find love if you don't it's probably gonna be like this reverse you know so i'm just saying i'm just saying okay uh eight of cups somebody is gonna end up walking away and I feel it, I feel uh, that they're going to walk away because they are going to see, look at that, because they are going to see that they are trying to be manipulated by someone. Now we have the sign of Capricorn here with that devil, right? So somebody here might have Capricorn or 
in their chart or be dealing with a Capricorn. Eight of Cups, give me a card. There it is. What is it? Queen of Pentacles. Is, yeah, okay. So that's what's going on. You could be dealing with the Queen of Pentacles unless that's you, right? You might be walking away from someone unless they fix themselves, right? If they're if the if this is uh the advice but they don't take it, someone's walking away and going to be the Queen of Pentacles. Now the Queen of Pentacles is usually a single or divorced woman, right? Unless the King of Pentacles pops out, that's who she is. She's already been married, she's already been divorced or widowed. Okay? I'm not saying, "Oh, you know, uh you're you're 28 or you're 20 years old, you're the queen." No. This is somebody who has been married they have been divorced. They maybe have children. And uh, yeah, they're financially stable. This is an older person, right? This is somebody, you know, and if you're a young person out there, you know, it could be you, I guess. If you're walking away and, and you're financially stable, you could even be the seven of pentacles energy walking away because you don't want to deal with this garbage up here. Right, you could have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in your chart. Capricorn again, see? So you could actually be a divine partner with somebody if you have uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in your chart because we have two separate energies here with Queen of Pentacles. So the male could be Capricorn and the female could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn somewhere in their chart. But obviously, your star sign, your sun sign, would be uh, Gemini, right? But you're feeling love right now, okay? So uh, at the bottom of the deck, once again, we have the Ace of Cups. Somebody here is going to find love. Somebody here is going to find love and have a new beginning of lo in love. But because it's 50-50, some are not. All right. These are my personal oracle. There's a lot of messages that come out of these. Let's see what we can get. All right, we got three out. That's good. So we have the words uh, or here phrases laying in bed. You could have been laying in bed with this person. This is someone you already know. Yeah, I can't stop thinking of you creating together. You guys may have had a business or something like that. We have somebody working on their heart chakra and their root chakra. Okay. We also have tense. I feel at home with you. I want you. Somebody here could be uh, Chinese astrology tiger, right? We also have the word pure. We also have the letters J, Y, X, R, L, M, E, and C. And then we also have somebody working on their uh, second and third chakra, uh, second chakra, creativity, sexuality, emotions. And then we have the third chakra, which is about personal power and will, right? And then we have um, the past returns. I told you, this is somebody from your past. I choose you. I love you. Uh, we have the um, second and third chakra uh, once again creativity, sexuality, personal power and will. We also have the heart chakra. Somebody's working. That's open. That's open. And so is the second and the third chakras. Okay. The letters we have are Q, T, X, D, G, W, M. I want to let you know, I choose you is on here, but I choose you should not be the defining factor. They should have chosen you first. They didn't choose you. Consider that. All right. So if this resonated, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Also, keep it true love energy, happy, friendly, loving types. We have nothing to fear as long as we stay calm and cheerful. I'm Mona, this is Classical Dreams here, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.